how well do I know the country that I live in? That's what I want to find out in this video I'm doing here. We're going to find out how much I know about Germany. The country I was born in, the country I grew up in, and now the country that I live in. And I also speak German, so how bad is it gonna go? Maybe poorly, because when it goes um, to the States, I will do poorly. Because I might live in Germany, but the States I don't know that well where they are and such. Now I've watched a lot of American YouTubers doing like uh, a little America quiz on let's say the States or something about America and I want to do the same concept. I'm a, not a YouTuber, I'm not a YouTuber yet or a very popular YouTuber but I want to find out how much I know about the country I live in. So I thought about let's do some Germany quizzes. Let's try this here. How well do you know German culture? Let's test your knowledge with this quiz. Hello German learners and germophiles. Do you have what it takes to nail the answers to a little German culture quiz? Here are 10 questions from the world of German food, drinks and the uh, esoteric arts of Mülltrennung, recycling. Ready? Let's go. Or as we say in Germany, Los geht's! <laughs> um, question number one. How much beer is in a German mask glass? I don't drink beer. I don't drink beer, so I don't know. Um, I don't think one liter. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, one, or I'd say zero point, I'd say half a liter. Ah! It's not? Is it one? Yeah! Correct! In Maria, three of those are considered a meal. Okay. What's this creature found in many German gardens? Das ist ein Gartenzwerg. Where is it? Here. Ein Gartenzwerg. Yes! <laughs> That's correct. They first appeared in the 19th century Germany. Really? I actually didn't know that. <laughs> How do you call this local delicacy? Uh, it looks like Rindswurst and Pommes. Bratwurst, Currywurst, Fleischwurst. It looks like... Oh wait, it's Currywurst. That's curry on there, I think. Curry? Is it Currywurst? Yeah. I also love Currywurst. It tastes really good. It's really good. Uh, when does the Oktoberfest start? I do think in October. I do think. Yeah. No? Then it's in mid-September actually. Yeah, that's correct. It used to be in October, but due to tricky weather, it was pre pawned Ah, okay. What's Apfelschorle? Uh, that's apple juice with water. Apple juice with soda water. <laughs> That's correct. Germans love this soda. <laughs> hey, I don't drink water that often actually. But yeah, water's water's healthy. Drink water. <laughs> uh, how do you call how do you call that half open state of a typical German window? Of kip of half of winkel. We say kip of kip. Yeah, that's correct. Kippen means to tilt. Yeah, we also say that. Uh, I thought it's like a la language thing or grew up family thing with, when we say um, tilt um, to like, how do you say it? Um, a half open state of German window. Half open the window. window. <laughs> Like, me and my family are used to say, like, kip das Fenster. That's, that's actually that, when you want to open the window half things. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, these are delicious. Haribo stands for... I actually don't know, but I think it's Hans Riegel Bonn. 
because he's the creator of Haribo. Is it right? I think I heard something. Hallo Riesen Bonbons, halb riegelfeste Botanik, Hans Riegelborn. I do think Hans Riegelborn. Yeah, Hans Riegel is the company founder. Bonn is where it was founded. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Ooh. <laughs> Coca-Cola invited Fanta for the German market because wartime Germany... Germans hated the taste of Coca-Cola. Production of Coca-Cola was difficult. Nobody wanted a brown soft drink. I actually don't know this. I actually don't know this. I know about Fanta. That's also really delicious. Mm, but I don't know. Did they hate it? Did Germans hate Coca-Cola? Now they love it. Um, I say the production was difficult. Yeah, they had trouble bringing in the new ingredients. The trash cans. What's the big idea with Germany colored trash cans um, to separate the trash? Blue for organic, brown for paper, yellow for plastic waste. Blue for plastic, brown for organic, yellow for paper waste. Blue for paper, brown for organic, yellow for plastic waste. Hmm, what could it be? What could it be? <laughs> it's actually blue paper, brown organic, and yellow is plastic. And everything else goes in the gray can. In the gray can? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, these are not French fries or chips. We call them pommes or fritten. Uh, Fritzies. Fritzen. Fritten. Okay, then fritten. Yeah. Sometimes they are also called pommes. I just know that I'm pommes. I just had pommes. I had pommes today. French fries, chips. I had them today, actually. Really delicious. <laughs> C-score. Uh, actually, I cheated a little. <laughs> Is there a score? Can I click on the score? 10 out of 10. Yay! I'm a real German. Actually, I cheated. <laughs> I actually cheated. Well... Okay, that was fun. Let's check if there's another quiz. Maybe I can find a uh, quiz about the states. Let's see. Let's just do that quiz where I have to click on the right day. Bremen. Where's Bremen? Is that Bremen? Yeah, that was Bremen. Hamburg. Hamburg? Oh, that was right. Lauer Sekuni? Okay, Laue Sarkoni is Niedersachsen. Why are they? I didn't even know this. I didn't know um, they are called differently, some states. Laue Sarkoni, Niedersachsen. That's that, yeah. Sarkoni? No? Uh, uh, what's this now? <laughs> Wait, that's probably Sachsen. Yeah, that's Sachsen. Where's Sachsen? <laughs> no. Here. No. Here. Okay, uh, Bavaria, that's I think Bayern, and that's here, I just saw that. Baden-Württemberg was here? No, here, no. Here, oh, okay, it was here. Um, and now it's done? It's done? Yeah, okay, here. Uh, Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. Here, no. Uh, no, that's Berlin. I do think that's Berlin. Brandenburg. Mecklenburg Vorpommern. Saarland. I think that was here. Um, Berlin. I think Berlin is here. Yeah. Uh, not Rhine-Westphalia. I've never heard that in English. Not Rhine-Westphalen. That's here. Saxony and <laughs> How would. How would English speakers or Americans speak, uh, spell that even out? I never heard these words. Uh, that's Sachsen-Anhalt. Where's that actually? That's not that because that's the state I live in. Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it here? Yeah. Hesse. It's called Hesse? It's Hessen with an N at the end. Hessen is here. <laughs> Thüringen war here. Uh, Rhineland Plantin. <laughs> What's 
Rheinland-Palatine, Rheinland-Pfalz oder so. Is it Rheinland-Pfalz? <laughs> I've never heard these translations of the states before. I do think it's here. Brandenburg, here. Yeah. And Schleswig-Holstein. 57%. Fifty-seven percent in three minutes and twenty. Woo! <laughs> I did it. I did it. Okay, maybe one more quiz. Okay, actually, I couldn't find out another quiz, another German quiz or Germany quiz, but uh, I do think these two quizzes were interesting enough. We had like simple questions like, "What's this called in Germany?" or uh, "What's this or this?" And we actually had the states. That's pretty good in my opinion, these two things. I also had fun doing them, even though they were really simple. But I found it interesting. I also found it interesting, the states. I never heard this translation of the states before. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I had fun doing this, actually, and yeah. I hope you had fun too. I hope you have some laughs and so on. And yeah, that was it. That was the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.